Van csak itt, kezdek. Dear water polo fans, welcome back once again to the April 11th pool here in Belgrade. It's getting uh, more and more cloudy here in Belgrade, but uh, still no rain. And we're going to have uh, very soon the second match today. Actually, it's the first semi-final of the final eight tournament of the Land Champions League. And uh, it's going to be Barcelona who had the most impressive record in the group stage, winning uh, 13 matches out of 14 in the group phase, and they will play against the host team, Novi Belgrad, last year's finalist, who had that uh, dramatic final against Prodeco, losing uh, that match in the penalty shootout. So the Spanish fans, actually the Catalan fans are already on the stands, waiting for the start of the game. And of course, uh, the winner will go to the final, to be had on Saturday, and the loser will play in the bronze medal match also on Saturday. That's how the teams uh, have arrived to the pool. In the previous two years, uh, the final tournament uh, was held, of course, in the indoor pool here at the April 11th pool complex. This time it's in the outer pool. This is the team of Novi Belgrad, the host team. Both teams uh, full of world-class players, real heroes of uh, water polo. And that's gonna be a really interesting match, for sure. Well, yesterday, Barcelona defeated Jug Dubrovnik. It was all even at half time, 5 all between the two, but uh, in the end it was 11 to 9 for Barcelona. Novi Belgrad defeated Olympiakos in the quarter final, 13 goes to 11. And now the teams are arriving to the pool. There's the team of Barcelona in front of their enthusiastic uh, supporters who followed their team to the Serbian capital. Now the host team, Novi Belgrad, also arriving to the pool. Here they are, led by the captain, Angelos Vlahopoulos. Well, I wouldn't say there are any favorites in this uh, contest. Anything can happen. Two fantastic teams. And now these teams are being introduced to the crowd here in the April 11th pool. So the captain of uh, Barcelona, of course, the veteran number 10, Felipe Perone, still one of the best water polo players of the world. Unai Aguirre, who had a sensational Number performance four, yesterday Number in front of the goal in Barcelona. Martin Famera, Dusan Matkovic, Alberto Munariz, De Toro, Marc Larumbe, Pavinar, the Australian who scored three times yesterday, Fran Fernandez, Roger Tahuy, Unai Biel scoring three times just like Pavinar, Alejandro Bustos and Nick Porter. The second choice goalkeeper, Elvis Fatov, is the coach of the team. And now the host team of Yograd is being introduced. Their captain, Angelos Vlahopoulos, the Greek. Radostav Filipovic in the number one cap. Zahidnya Rashovic, Vasilya Martinovic. Then, of course, the Spanish international of Novi Belgrad, Alvaro Granados, scoring five times yesterday against Olympiakos. Then Jozja Vucinic, Dusko Pietlovic, Radomir Drasovic, Nikola Jakšić, former Champions League winner Miroslav Perkovic, Dimitrios Kumpakis, Viktor Rashovic, and 
Joe Pedro Fernandez Coimbra, the great Brazilian goalkeeper, with a 60.7% save efficiency yesterday. So the two referees, uh, Willis Margheta from Slovenia and Frank Ume from Germany, also ready for the action. So yesterday, Pavilar and Bia were the top scorers of Barcelona, scoring three times respectively. Munari scoring twice. Miguel de Toro, the center forward, scoring once against uh, After those two matches, the Spaniards' top scorer, Alvaro Granados, joined Olympia Grand for this season, and he led the charge in the quarters against Olympiacos with five goals, as I mentioned. Zivko Gocic, the head coach of Novi Belgrad, had his say before the start of this match. Here's Unai Aguirre, the young goalkeeper, only 20 years of age, but already a world champion with the Spanish national team, winning the title in Budapest last year, in the final world championships. Angelos Velahopoulos, the captain of Novi Belgrad, keeping the team talk. And of course, the Serbs tried to improve on last year's performance. Once again, they tried to get through to the final, and this time they would like to keep the gold medal at home. Pretty noisy, friends from Catalonia. Coming to support Barceloneta here. The referee doesn't fool, and here's Boris Margheta, Slovenian referee. 
se ovde mnogo važno kakav je učinak Golmana, a evo vidimo Alvara Granadosa, nekadašnji igrač u Barcelona. So Alvaro Granados against his former team, that could be a key factor. But Barcelona, don't forget, only had one loss in this season. So 40 matches in the group phase, one more yesterday in the quarterfinal, and they won 14 out of the 15 encounters in this Champions League season. They finished ahead of Proreco in their group. But they are hungry for more. They desperately want another medal after the gold medal of 2014 on home soil. So the second match is just about to begin today here in the upper level pool. Number four from Novi Belgrad, Alvaro Granados against his former team, now in the swim off already. And he reaches the ball first. Martin Famera from Barcelona was the opponent in this uh, first contest. Now Novi Belgrad had the first possession. Nikola Jakšić, the pass to the centre forward and a clear tackle, no foul. Now Unai Aguirre tries to find the teammates. The first offensive play of Barcelona. Roberto Munariz gets the call. La Rumbe. Famera. Former Slovakian international Martin Famera. Who has represented Spain, of course, in recent years. Two excellent goalkeeping performances yesterday, so that's uh, another curiosity of this match. Unai Aguirre and uh, João Pedro Fernandes Coimbra. And a pass from Viktor Rašović and the first exclusion foul. Miroslav Perković was fouled and Dusha Matković is out now. The Montenegro International out for 20 seconds and the power play goal for Novi Belgrad. That's been a really great power play. And Nikola Jakšić, the former Ferenc Varos player, takes the lead for Novi Belgrad. Played in uh, Belgrade, but uh, not in Novi Belgrade, in Partizan. Until 2017, Nikola Jakšić, then signed for Ferenc Varos and won the Champions League in 2019 with the Hungarians. And uh, two years ago, he returned to Belgrade and this time he signed for Novi Belgrade. So one nil for the Serbs. La Rumbe. Perrone and the fantastic block by the Serbs. The score remains 1 0 for Novi Belgrad. Now Coimbra. The pass to Captain Vlahopoulos. Drasovic. Vlahopoulos. They still have time, 13 seconds for this offensive play. Radomir Drasovic, now only five seconds on the clock. And the block this time by the Spaniards. One single goal. Novi Belgrad having the narrow lead. Perrone. La Rumbe. That's a free throw. Back to Felipe Perrone, who is fouled by Viktor Rašović. 
Lanu Mer loses the ball. So the Spaniards are still goalless. Almost three minutes gone. Great support for both teams from the stands. Granados. Five seconds remaining on the shot clock. Do they need to do something? Granados, one more pass. And the last attempt in this offensive play. Made by Perkovic. Easily saved by Aguirre. That was uh, save number one by Unai Aguirre. Perrone. And the first save from Coimbra. Another chance for Novi Belgrad, maybe for a third over. And actually, no excellent situation. Vahinia Rashavi joining the action. Now he has the possession almost halfway through the first quarter. The pass to Alvaro Granados, back to Rashovic. Rashovic. Lost ball. So still only one single goal, the goal of Nikola Jakšić, which uh, separates the two teams. Larumbe. Biel, scoring three times yesterday. Perrone. That's a great move. But Coimbra makes the save. What a great chance for Basoneta to make the equalizer, but in the end, Roger Tahu couldn't beat the Brazilian goalkeeper. Perkovic. And the shot goes wide. No touch this time by Aguirre. is looking for some help. He finds now Mark Larumbe, who is pushing forward with the ball. Still Larumbe. And Larumbe scores! Joe Pedro Coimbra beaten for the first time today. And there's the equalizer for Barcelona. An action goal scored by Mark Larumbe. Was not on the score sheet yesterday, but that's an important goal for the Spaniards. Just inside the last three minutes of quarter number one. All even. He's Fran Fernandez, the veteran player of Marzoneta. Born in 1986. Just like Felipe Perrone. Drasovic. And the lost ball once again, Felipe Perone grabbing it. Another chance for the Catalans to turn the score. And now it's even a bigger chance after this uh, exclusion. And Dusko Pietlovic is out for the first time today. So six on five situation for Vasoleneta. Pavilar. Had an excellent match yesterday. Fernandez, Perrone. Perrone was only hitting the crossbar. So it remains one all. Two minutes to go before the end of uh, the first period. Granados keeping the ball. A tight and strict defensive play by Barcelona. Five seconds to the shot clock. Drasovic, Granados. And the save by Aguirre. 
Don't forget that Barceloneta conceded the least goals in the group phase. They had an excellent defensive performance in the prelims of the Champions League. At this time, very defensive performances by both teams. Perune gets the call. It's even an exclusion. So Miroslav Petkovic with his uh, first personal foul, the second power play for Barceloneta. Papilar. Perone. Munariz. Excellent block. Inside the last minute now. Felipe Perone. Six on six now. A still a chance for Barceloneta. Another block. Pavilar. No more power play. Pavilar looking for a chance to make an attempt. Perone, one more pass. Famera against three. Novi Belgrad players didn't have a realistic chance to keep the ball. There's the bench of Novi Belgrad, including the Substitute goalkeeper Radoslav Filipovic. Vlahopoulos. Drasovic. Jakšić. The last eight seconds of the first quarter. And the block by the Spaniards. One more long distance attempt by the Australian Luke Pavilar. And the score remains 1-0. That's the end of the first quarter. And that's been an interesting match so far, as expected. So that's the first quarter statistics. 12% shot efficiency for Barcelona. They had two more attempts. Uh, two attempts more. In comparison to Novi Belgrad. Only three personal fouls. Two steals. Uh, by the Spaniards and some uh, great blocks on both sides. So both teams uh, have managed to clinch the national championship title also this season. But no surprise in Spain, that was uh, gold medal number 23 for Barcelona. Since uh, 2006, it's been all about Barcelona in the Spanish National Championship. They also clinched the Copa del Rey title, so they won the Spanish Cup. And also dreaming of uh, clinching their second Champions League title. That was a memorable Final Four tournament uh, nine years ago in uh, the Catalan capital. And after that season, they also managed to uh, win the Len Super Cup in 2014. And as I mentioned, one single loss in the group phase. It was actually at home, 11 to 5 to Reco. Uh, somewhere at the beginning of uh, the 2022-23 season. But then came 13 wins in a row. They also managed to win in Reco. And they finished ahead of the title holders in the group. So we are heading for the second swim off. Vasilya Martinovic from Novi Belgrad. But the swim off is won by the Barceloneta number seven, the Australian Luke Pavilar. La Rumbe. Pavilar. Pavilar gets the call, it's a free throw. Perrone. A low pass to the center forward. And there's the five meter penalty. That was a great pass, I should say an excellent pass by Felipe Perone and Miguel de Toro, the center forward was fouled. Radomir Drasovic 
with a personal foul. Perrone, and he scores. His third goal in the final tournament. All in all, it's uh, goal number 38 for the captain of the team, Felipe Perrone, who started his career in the team of Barcelona in 2002, more than two decades ago. Return to Barcelona, but this time for Barceloneta in 2017. Seven seconds and a shot clock. A nice exclusion from Barceloneta. So the extra man advantage for Novi Begrad, Alejandro Bustos is out for 20 seconds. Drasovic. Vlahubulos. And the bad pass. Felipe Perone catching the ball in the air. What a mistake by the Serbs. Remains 2 1 for Barcelona. And Felipe Perona is pushing forward now with the ball. And they try to double the lead. Perona. Important save by Coimbra. Now Angelos Velahopoulos keeping the ball. Not an easy task to find a teammate. Adami Drasovic also fouled. Back to Velahopoulos. Vucinic. Velahopoulos inside the last 10 seconds of this offensive play. Now the block by the Spaniards. And at least another 20 seconds for Novi Belgrad. Velahopoulos. Vucinic. Eight seconds, and Aguirre makes the save. And the Catalan fans are chanting the name of Unai Aguirre, already fan favorite. Successor of the great goalkeeper, Dani Lopez. And there's an action shot goal. Alberto Munariz also on the score sheet now after three unsuccessful attempts. And Barcelona increased the lead. Yeah, this time Coimbra Fernandes could do nothing about that. Goal number 23 for Munariz. Also a world champion, of course, after some uh, lost finals in major tournaments. The Spanish national team finally managed to clinch the gold medal at the World Championships last year in Budapest. And the goal is disallowed. So the foul was uh, committed inside the six meter line. And this way, couldn't uh, shoot directly from this uh, free throw. Actually, he could, but it was uh, against the rules. So the goal doesn't count. Six seconds left on the shot clock. And Coimbra Fernandes making the save. That's a free uh, corner throw for Barcelona. Fran Fernandez, 37 years of age. La Rumbe. And an ordinary foul committed by Skumpakis. Bustos. Another turnover foul. So 
Ukraine, Yerashovich and the Serbs are pushing forward to score and to reduce the gap. Skupakis and the one-timer, another block, excellent defensive play, this time by Felipe Perrone who made that block. And Perón now gets the ball from Unai Aguirre. And the Spaniard this time hit the crossbar, but they have the ball after the rebound. Matkovic. Larumbe. Perone. Back to Larumbe. Two seconds and a shot clock. And the very last moments of this offensive play, Montenegrin Dusha Matkovic somehow finds the back of the net. Well, this time, Joe Pedro Fernandez Coimbra was beaten. Matkovic, a new signing of last summer for Barcelona. With goal number four, and Zivko Gocic for, for the timeout. Time out. 40 years of age, Zivko Gocic, also a former excellent player. He was the head coach of uh, Hungarian team Solnok between 2018 and 2022. Signed for Novi Belgrad last summer. As a player, he played in Russia, then in Moscow, also in uh, Italy, in the team of Latina, also in Solnok. And he won actually the Champions League title with uh, Solnok in 2017, former Olympic champion with the Serbian national team. But his team is now in real trouble. They are trailing by three goals. Vlahopoulos. Jakšić. Vlahopoulos. They need a goal. They desperately need a goal now. But after this one timer, the Spaniards making another block. Well, Novi Belgrade, one of the top teams of Europe, and they only managed to score once. So all credit to the defensive play of Barcelona once again. Fernandez. And it's even an exclusion from Novi Belgrade, so a chance to take a four goal lead for the first time for Barcelona. And, uh, team between 2013 and 2021 two years ago he signed for Barcelona last year he couldn't make it to the semi-final against Reco this time they are pretty close to their second ever Champions League final the shot clock has run down not a single attempt in this power play so Elvis Svatovic can't be satisfied with that. Despite that uh, timeout call, that was uh, not a good power play. Rašovic. Still Rašovic. 10 seconds on the shot clock. 
Rashovic and after his deflection, a pretty lucky goal for Novi Belgrad, but they desperately needed that. Goal number two for the Serbs. Well, let's check this once again. Trahinja Rashovic. Trying to make the attempt and reflection. Alberto Munaris touched the ball and this way it was initially impossible for Unai Aguirre to save Rashovic on the score sheet now. His first goal today, so only Nikola Jakšić and uh, Strahinja Rashovic, the goal scorers of Novi Belgrad. Two minutes and 18 seconds to go before half time. Perune. Pavilar. Munaris. Pavilar. Now we are heading for the last two minutes. This quarter. Another pass from Perune. And another five meter penalty for. Barceloneta. So the penalty foul was committed by Dimitrios Skumpakis. Now the Serbian crowd don't like it, but uh, another chance for Alberto Munaris to score, and he does it. Just like Perone, he finds the back of the net from the spot, and Barceloneta regain the free goal lead. So that's goal number two for Alberto Munaris. He's the only player in the field who has uh, managed to score more than once, and here's Elvis Fatovic. His son Loren, of course, uh, seriously injured, and that's why he's missing from this uh, final tournament. And Hugh Despoty is missing him, of course, just like uh, Kruzic. Exclusion from Barceloneta. So Martin Famera is out now. His first personal foul. Another really important 6 on 5 situation for Novi Belgrad. Rashovic. And there's the missed chance. Now, no more power play, but another 20 seconds at least for the Serbs. Vlahopoulos. Rashovic. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Van Hopoulos. And the ball is inside somehow. Dimitrios Skumpakis. Well, Unai Aguirre almost managed to make the save, but just almost. Into the tight angle. But in the end, goal number three for Novi Belgrad. That was the Greeks' first attempt today. Yesterday he was not on the score sheet against uh, Olympiakos. Now the last minute of the second quarter. Perune. Larumbe. An exclusion this time from Novi Belgrad. Pavilar. Perrone. Larumbe. Pavilar. And Australia made the attempt. That's a great block by the Serbs. And a chance for them to reduce the gap. The last 30 seconds before half time. Another exclusion. Luke Pavilar. That's a silly foul, I can tell you, but uh, this, that means uh, six on five situation for Novi Belgrad. Vlahopoulos, Rashovic, and fantastic save in the end. That's the end of quarter number two. So, it was one all after the first quarter and uh, Barcelona managed to win the second period by four goals to one.
there's the half-time statistics. So only 21% shot efficiency for Novi Belgrad, 31% for Barcelona. One action shot goal, respectively. Ten personal fouls in total, two steals by the Spaniards, and nine block shots. And at the moment, the top scorer of the match, Alberto Munariz from Barcelona, who has managed to score twice. As I mentioned, the Masoneta retained their title once again in the Spanish National Championship. Just like uh, Novi Belgrad in the Serbian National Championship, they beat uh, Resta Belgrade, so Trona Zvezda, 2 0 on aggregate in the final. In the second match, it was 14 7 in favor of Novi Belgrad, and Alvaro Granados, the former Masoneta player, scored 10 times, would you believe or not? So he was uh, absolutely the hero of that match. Novi Belgrad also won the regional league last year. This time it was Juk uh, Dubrovnik who finished first, and Novi Belgrad finished as bronze medalist. It's a pretty young club. It was founded a couple of years ago, and uh, they entered the Champions League final eight actually on last year. That was the first occasion that they. Uh, we're here, present in the final eight, and uh, for the first occasion, they already managed to go through to the final, and they lost to Rureco in the penalty shootout. Mr. Rudovicic also on the stands, of course. Uh, legendary coaches, legendary players, legendary figures of uh, water polo. All interested in this uh, great final tournament in the FPD 11 pool. We could see Ivica Tuzak, the head coach of the Croatian national team in the previous match. So there are world and Olympic and European champions on the stands in every match. That's real water polo feeling here. So the swim off, the third swim off is won by the Spaniards. Martin Famera reached the ball first. Perone. Markovic. Two goal lead for. Masoneta, and that's a fantastic steal. Georgia Vucinic stole the ball from the Spaniards, and it's even an exclusion from Masoneta. So now that's a six on five situation for Novi Belgrad. Miguel de Toro is out. That's his first personal foul. Vlahopoulos. And that's a great power play. Well, Angelos Vlahopoulos are waiting for the perfect moment. And actually it came. Dusko Pietlovic. Also on the score sheet now. Another veteran of uh, international water polo. Four-time Champions League winner. Dusko Pietlovic. Won his first title with Partizan. 12 years ago. And two more titles with Reco. And in between, also with uh, Red Star Belgrade in 2013. Dusko Pietlovic, who's uh, been really fantastic. 
the last couple of decades, I should say, in international water polo. Also won the Land Euro Cup with Solnok. So, after being down by five goals to two, now the Serbs are only trailing by one goal. Larumbe. Munaris. Larumbe. Perone. That's a turnover foul. Now the Serbs are pushing forward to make an equalizer. They try to score three times in succession. Granados. Lahopoulos. And turnover foul once again, but this time committed by the Serbs. Larume. No goals so far by the Spaniards in the third quarter. They haven't scored for a while now. Larume. Matkovic. Perrone. And that was a risky pass from Felipe Perrone. He couldn't find Tahu in the center forward position. So it remains 5-4. Another attempt by the Serbs to level the score. Mlahupoulos. And Nikola Jašić tried to meet Unai Agire, but he missed the target. Munariz. Felipe Perrone, that's a free throw, Perrone, back to Alberto Munariz, and he's the crossbar, and the Serbs have the possession. So I have to check when uh, the Spaniards scored the last goal, that was uh, actually two minutes before the end of uh, quarter number so five minutes without a single goal and now they are conceding and there's the equalizer so three goals in succession by Novi Belgrad and that was a fantastic goal actually an action shot goal so Radomir Drasovic finally in the score sheet attempt number four how about that? Goal number 27 in this Champions League season. Pavilar. Perone and the exclusion foul in the middle. So Dimitrios Kumpakis uh, is out for 20 seconds for the second time today. The first Serbian player who is on the edge of uh, ejection. Just an ordinary foul. Free throw for Basonita. And there's the end of this foul play. Another missed chance by the team of Lisvatovic. Milahopoulos. Granados. Really have the opportunity to celebrate against his former teammates. That's a one-timer blocked by the Spaniards. And they have the possession. Aguirre. Five goals apiece. 
And Luke Pavilar pushing forward. Biel. And Coimbra Fernandez making the save. Still 5 all. Two goals coming from Novi Belgrade in the third quarter. They haven't conceded at all in this period. All improving defensive performance by the Serbs. Granados. Vlahopoulos. Exclusion. Foul by Felipe Perrone. That's his first personal foul. Vucinic. Granados. Vlahopoulos. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Vucinic. Granados. Excellent finish. And Novi Belgrad turns the score. After being down by five goals to two. Now they have the lead, 6-5. And the man who scored five times yesterday against Juve Dubrovnik. Uh, actually against uh, Olympiakos, of course. Now scores his first, but it's goal number 41 in total in this Champions League season. La Rumbe. So the Spaniards need to improve in this uh, offensive performance. Exclusion. Exclusion from Martinovic is out. It took a while until uh, the Spaniards got in front of the Serbian goal. So they don't have too much time to finish this uh, attack. That's a five meter penalty. So, penalty number three for Barcelona. And it was Strahinja Rashovic who committed this foul. Another chance for Mark Larumbe to score. Perona and Munari scored from the spot and Mark Larumbe also finds the back of the net and that's the equalizer for Barcelona. So they had an almost eight minute goalless period. Vlahopoulos. That's another exclusion. Exclusion Barcelona, player number For the number 12, Bustos. Alejandro Bustos has to be out. Now the 6 on 5 situation for Novi Belgrade, the last two minutes of the third quarter. Vlahopoulos. One more pass, Rafulos gets it back, and another great finish. And once again, Dusko Pietlovic from the center forward position. 7 6 for Novi Belgrad. There again, the lead. Another great assist by Angelos Vlahopoulos. Seven goal for Novi Belgrad, player number six, Dusko Pietlovic. Here he is the two-time Olympic champion, the two-time world champion, four-time European champion, Dusko Pietlovic. Former teammate of Zivko Gocic, the national team. So 7-6. Pavilar, seven seconds on the shot clock. Lerumbe. No foul this time on the center forward. Uh, 
excellent defensive play by the Serbs. Actually, Roger Tahu didn't have a realistic chance against three Novi Belgrad players. Rašovic. Great block by Larumbe, but another 20 seconds for Novi Belgorad. 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. Another turnover foul. So one more chance for Barcelona in this period to level the score. Unai Biel. Turnover for once again. So. 28 seconds to go, and now the possession goes to Novi Belgrad. Angelos Vlahopoulos keeping the ball. Steve Vlahopoulos, they still have time. 50 seconds on the clock. Vlahopoulos, Drasovic. And the missions for Novi Belgrad. Aguirre, the long distance shot. So, there's been a really interesting uh, third period. Novi Belgrad scoring four times and conceding only once. So at halftime, remember, it was 5 3 for Barcelona, night 7 6 for the host team. There's the third quarter statistics. Not a big difference uh, in the short efficiencies. 28% uh, for Barcelona, 31 for Novi Belgrad. Total of 16 personal fouls. Three steals by the Serbs. So two more top matches are still to come today here from the different 11th pool. Uh, this match will be followed by the classification match for the fifth to eighth places between Brescia and Ferenc Varos, starting at uh, 6.30. And the last match will be the second semi-final, starting at 8 local time. The surprise team of this season, the Greek silver medalists. We are many. Uh, we play against the title holder Prodeco. Rekko will try to clinch their 11th title in their history. And the third one in succession. Only one team have managed to win the title three times in succession. It was the Mladost Zagreb between 1968 and 1970. And actually, from the eight teams in the field uh, in this final tournament, there are only three uh, clubs uh, that have never managed to win the gold medal at the Champions League. One of them is Novi Belgrad. But they are hungry for their historic first win. Ah, see, they were so close against Prodeco. Now they have a narrow lead right before the last quarter against Barcelona. Now the last swim off. And Martin Famera reached the ball first. So the first possession goes to the Spaniards. And actually they've been the sprints by uh, Privan. And immediately the first exclusion. Nikola Jakšić is out. He's a second personal foul and a chance to make an equalizer for Barcelona. Munariz. And the two meter interruption. So the possession goes to Novi Belgrad. What a mistake by the Spaniards in this uh, really crucial situation. Rasovic. 
Vučinić. Vlaho Kulas. That's a risky pass, but they saved the ball, and in the end, Vucinic made the attempt. Aguirre performed the save, still 7-6. Larumbe. Munariz. Back to Mark Larumbe. 10 seconds on the shot clock. And the one-timer. What a goal by Alberto Munariz. Well, that has been a cracker. Munariz with goal number seven for Barcelona. And this time, Joao Coimbra Fernandez could do nothing about that. A slight touch by the Brazilian goalkeeper that didn't turn to be enough to make the save. So now Munariz with goal number three to his name out of eight attempts. And the Catalan supporters are still hoping for a place in the final. They will be here for sure also on Saturday, but the question is uh, in the bronze medal match or in the gold medal match. Exclusion, excellent advantage. In favor of Novi Belgrad. Score is 7 all. Almost two minutes gone in the last quarter. Vlahopoulos. Actually, Martin Femmer is out. And they only managed to hit the crossbar. And the Spaniards have the ball after the rebound. Now they have the chance to regain the lead. Remember, they had a 5 2 lead. They still led by five goals to three at half time. And then the Serbs turned the score. Perrone. Larumbe. An exclusion this time from Novi Belgrad. And it's the number five from the home team, Georgia Vucinic, with his first personal foul. Seven seconds on the shot clock. And they also hit the crossbar. That's a missed power play, that's for sure. Now six on six already, but the Spaniards still have the possession. Perrone. Munariz. Larumbe. Five seconds, now only four on the shot clock. And the lob shot. And the post saves Novi Belgrad this time, still 7 all. Novi Belgrad yet to score in the last quarter. Two fantastic teams and uh, the best match so far in the tournament, I can tell you. No question about that. Rašović. Block shot. And once again, an uh, all improving defensive performance by the Spaniards. And we are almost at the midpoint of the last quarter. That's a fast break chance for Barcelona. One more pass, and they score. Felipe Perrone makes it 8 7. Perrone scored from a spot in the first quarter converted one of the penalties for Barcelona. Now that's a fast break goal. The pass comes from uh, Martin Famera and Perone with this uh, really cool finish. Goal number 42 in the whole tournament. 8-7. So we haven't seen any penalty shootout so far in this tournament. I, I can imagine that uh, these two teams will finish the same number of goals in the end in regular time. Yeah. 
But now a great block by the Spaniards. But Novi Belgrade still have the possession. Another 20 seconds. Vlahopoulos. Granados. Back to the captain, Vlahopoulos. Now the exclusion. So the number 12, Alejandro Bustos, is out of the match. There's the first final exclusion today. He won't be allowed to return to the pool, Alejandro Bustos. Vlahopoulos. And Vlahopoulos scores. Goes from the captains. Now from Angelos Vlahopoulos. Well, Aguirre almost managed to make the save. But in the end, Vlahopoulos with goal number eight for Novi Belgrad. Three minutes and ten seconds to go. That was actually goal number one for Novi Belgrad in the last quarter. Jeffrey Gotic, also excited on the bench, but who is not excited here in the April 11th pool? Tension, passion, and everything here surrounding water polo in this uh, great semi final. Larumbe with the one timer. There was a slight touch by João Pedro Radeshko Imra. So that's a corner throw. Perone. Pavilar has been really quiet so far in this match, unlike yesterday. And now the exclusion foul. Tahul was uh, fouled, and now the six on five situation for Barceloneta. Jorge Vucinic is out for 20 seconds. His second personal foul. Perrone, Pavilar. And they only managed to hit the crossbar, but they have the rebound. And no call this time. Well, the Spaniards are complaining about that, but the center forward didn't manage to possess the ball. And now we are inside the last two minutes. It's 8 uh, all between Barcelona and Novi Belgrad. Vlahopoulos, exclusion, the foul on Nikola Jakšić, and the Australian Luke Pavilar is out for the second time. What a chance for Novi Belgrade to regain the lead. Vlahopoulos, Skupakis back to Vlahopoulos, and Aguirre. What a save by the young goalkeeper. 20 years of age, Unai Aguirre, who could be the hero of Barcelona. Amazing save, and the ball was not inside. Now the last minute of the game. Nine seconds on the shot clock. La Rumbe. They are pretty far away from the goal. One last attempt. And the score remains 8 all. And Zivko Gocic calls for a timeout. Timeout. Really do or die clash between these uh, excellent teams of uh, Europe, Barcelona and Novi Belgrade. Remember that uh, dramatic match last year in the final between Novi Belgrade and Fureco. This is a similar match with fantastic defensive performances on both sides and some uh, spectacular goals as well. Now also regarding the goalkeepers, uh, Inay Aguirre and João Pedro Fernandes Coimbra performing some uh, brilliant saves. So that's water polo on the highest level. 
But the Serbian fans are hoping for another final participation for the team. Now, 45 seconds to go. Novi Belgrad have the possession. Very tight defensive play by Marsoneta. Vlahokulos keeping the ball. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Still Angelos Vlahokulos. And the Spaniards thought they had the possession, but that's a free throw. And also an exclusion. So Martin Famera is out. There's a chance to score the decider for Novi Belgrad. A six on five situation. Vlahopoulos. Granados. It's fantastic block by the Spaniards. Still five seconds to go. Granados. Maybe one more attempt. And Vlahopoulos hitting the crossbar. And the match goes to the penalty shootout. No winner so far. Eight all in regular time. And somehow, Barcelona managed to survive. Excellent defensive play. Kiss from the goalkeeper, Unai Aguirre. One is for sure, Martin Famera and Alejandro Bustos won't have the chance to shoot from the penalty spot. Both have been uh, excluded from the game, so five shooters from both teams. And the penalty shootout will decide about the participation in the final. Last year in the big final, in the gold medal match, Novi Belgrad lost to Prodeco in the shootout. So it couldn't be more exciting than that. The first penalty shootout in the tournament. Yesterday, Barcelona defeated Duke by two goals. Novi Belgrad Olympiakos also by two goals. We are many over Kim Brescia by one single goal, and Prodeco defeated the Ferenc Varos by four goal margin. Today, Yug were defeated by Olympiakos by 14 goals to five, but now it's Barcelona eight, Novi Belgrad eight after regular time. There's the full time statistics 30% shot efficiency for the Spaniards, 26% for Novi Belgrad. Plenty of uh, missed chances from the power plays, but uh, all credit to the defensive plays of the teams, of course. Total of uh, 23 personal fouls. And in the end, Alberto Mudari is the top scorer of the match. He had a total of 10 attempts, and in the end, uh, he managed to beat uh, Joe Coimbra three times. Two goals from La Rumbe and uh, Felipe Perrova, the captain. On the other side, two goals from Dusko Pietlovic. And Dusan Mandic also interested in the final eight tournament, of course. So can they make it once again to the final, Novi Belgrad? And what about Barcelona? They were final participants on home soil nine years ago in Barcelona, and they went on to clinch the gold medal. And for the second time, they are in the final. They could be in the final. At first, they had to beat Novi Belgrad in the penalty shootout. So, who's going to be the hero of this match? Unai Aguirre or Joe Pedro Fernandez Coimbra? Two young goalkeepers. Aguirre born in 2002. The Brazilian in the year of 2000. Now, the first shot coming from 
the Barcelona captain, Felipe Perrone, who converted the penalty in the first quarter. And Perona scores also this time. One nil for Barcelona. No chance at all for Coimbra. And now the first shooter of Novi Belgrad. And it's gonna be Radomir Drasovic against Unai Aguirre. And Drasovic scores. One goal apiece. Well, that's a very comfortable conversion of uh, penalty. And this time, Munariz misses the target. He only manages to hit the crossbar. It remains one all in total nine all. And the second shooter from Novi Belgrad, and it's Alvaro Granados. The man who missed the last and crucial penalty for Spain against Hungary in the European Championship final three years ago, but this time he didn't make a mistake. So Mark Larumbe, the third shooter of Barcelona. He desperately need to go now. Novi Belgrad have the lead and nice equalizer, but uh, we still have the third Novi Belgrad shooter, and it's going to be Strahinja Rasovic. And Rasovic scores. 3 2 after the first series. Two more shooters to come from both sides. And one goal lead for Novi Belgrad. And a substitution in front of the goal. Radoslav Filipovic in the goal. And Australian Luke Pavila tries to beat him. Uh, couldn't manage to do that. Luke Pavilar hitting the post, and Novi Belgrad are so close to their second final participation in the Champions League. So in case of another goal, if Vlahopoulos manages to score, Novi Belgrad are in the final, and he scores! And that's it. The host team once again in the gold medal match. So, on Saturday, Novi Belgrad will play for the gold medal. Angelos Vlahopoulos didn't miss the target. Two misses from Barcelona, and that turned to be crucial. Officially, Novi Belgrad 12, Barcelona 10, including the goals from the penalty shootout. So incredibly, Barcelona only lost one single match in the whole season of the Champions League, but they are not in the final in regular time. They won 13 out of 14 matches in the group stage. They won the quarterfinal yesterday. This time it was a draw in regular time, but they lost in the penalty shootouts. What a match it has been. Two fantastic teams, a very narrow gap between these two so Novi Belgrad in the gold medal match on Saturday Barcelona will play for the bronze medal and of course we'll be back with the match Brescia against Ferenc Varos the classification for the place is 5 to 8 starting at 6.30pm uh, local time see you then